Good afternoon, traders. It is Wednesday, April 15th, 2015, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Uh, we had a good up day in the Dow today. Uh, you actually gained 75 points, but you know, I think this thing is running out of steam. I know I say that a lot. But if you look back here, like one day, one week ago, um, we have this uh, pretty obvious bull spike here on the open on the 6th of April. And then we've seen some sideways action, but clearly the trend has been up. And we actually took out uh, uh, the highs of a couple days ago today um, and yet one gets the feeling up here when you look at today's action that you know it's really kind of running out of steam and uh, I think uh, the Dow is kind of in an exhaustion phase right now and I'm definitely calling it down for tomorrow I really think this thing has come down a ways not not a big distance but it's it's got to have a decent down day before we're going to see uh, you know a, a really decent up day again and when I say it you know maybe I'm been spoiled a little but by a decent day I mean you know something like 150 200 points or something like that it we're, we're not going to get that here this thing is definitely running out of steam it's got to come down um, to really gain a lot of velocity we had a great day today I mean you know uh, I, I certainly can't complain we closed out um, about ten thousand dollars in closed out trades and that was uh, definitely an improvement from what we were holding uh, from yesterday and to top it all off, we're, we're carrying about $3,500 positive going into tomorrow. I tell you, I'm honestly a little bit nervous about that, however, because it just looks to me like everything has kind of reached uh, its climax and uh, is looking to go down. So if we got out of uh, $3,500 positive tomorrow on closed out I would be delighted um, I just hope I'm wrong about all this but it looks to me like you know things are about to fizzle out a little for a day or two I'll show you some of the trades we had some interesting stuff happen let me let me show you first of all you know an example of what makes me nervous this is um, Callan Petroleum uh, and we had bought this thing uh, yesterday uh, here and it had closed a little bit positive but did a nice uh, pop up this morning and we get out of that right here and and we get um, about $2,200 positive by getting out here on our uh, regular exit time. But then right after we get out, this thing really screams and what happens, it hits our re-entry. And then, you know, it starts to flatten out and starts looking like the tire Dow Industrial Average. And we're carrying negative 800 on this re-entry. Now, I shouldn't complain when we get positive, you know, 23, 2400 here, and then we're only negative 800 here, but this looks to me like this is kind of vulnerable to a sell-off, and I think if we got a big sell-off in the uh, Dow tomorrow, uh, I would rather not have this position, let's put it that way. Uh, but when I'm talking about re-entries and stuff, now this isn't a, 
I, I'll talk about the re-entries in the next chart, but the, this was a good uh, trade we here have going. This is Parker Drilling, and we had bought this yesterday, and it really popped up nice today, and uh, came up here, and this looks very, very stable. Doesn't look like it's going to sell off at all, at least from what I'm seeing right there. And we are holding a uh, positive $3,000 uh, dollars in Parker drilling so that's really nice now this is the example uh, I want to show you of eh, where am I here I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm still learning my alphabet <laughs> okay this is GW Pharmaceuticals and you know I showed you this chart yesterday but when I'm complaining about Callan Petroleum say and with that re-entry that kind of puts us in a vulnerable position this is this is why we have re-entries two days ago we bought uh, GW Pharmaceuticals here it didn't do anything at all on the day of entry but then it popped up yesterday and we get out here and that's not a bad trade we take three thousand dollars out of there but then bam -o, we immediately get into the re-entry but this time rather than sagging the way that Callum Petroleum does did this thing really takes off and we're holding some very nice profits yesterday on the close and then this morning we get out here and that's that may not look like the greatest exit but we still still took um, over four thousand dollars in it so you know combine these two trades and we get out of this we have over seven thousand dollars which is pretty nice and if you look at this it looks like you know we're we're out at the right time uh, this isn't looking like it's gonna go screaming topside tomorrow I'm happy we took our uh, second profits there uh, it was not, not a perfect exit up here this was up to over five thousand dollars and even on the open for a brief second or two uh, this uh, stock was also above five thousand dollars, but I'm happy with four thousand dollars there and a seven thousand dollars total out of those two trades, so We had a good day. We had a good day. I I, I hope uh, the Dow doesn't take Too much of a beating tomorrow. I hope we can get out of these uh, positions that we're holding um, with a little bit of profit anyway. We'll just have to see how it goes. This is Trader Bob signing off. I'll see you tomorrow on Thursday.